you know the part in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation when... What's that sound? Do you hear it? It's a funny squeaky sound. I know that there's no squirrels in there, but that's just what I feel like because I've seen about 10 different types of bugs falling out of the tree. If we're completely doing this wrong, you let me know because we apparently don't know how to do this. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Welcome to the Diff Family Vlog. This is one of those days that you just have a lot of stuff going on and putting it all into a vlog and trying to get it out and make sure that you're ready for the next day. It's kind of hard. But today we're out in Santa Rosa to get a tree and we have some friends with us. Um, always likes to keep it live. What, what, what? We are running out of gas faster than I think we're going to get to the road. So. We're going to call AAA with a tree tied to our trunk. We're not sure if he could make it back to the road. We're just going to hope. But we're not going to worry about that right now because it's time to get a tree. That's not roasting. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. So I'm offering... A tiny Christmas tree. One tiny one? We could do this one for our room. One tiny one for our room. AJ, you gotta help. They just wanna run. Well, I already like the Have you guys um gone out and cut a tree down before? The family? Once. Didn't go well. Rotted real fast. So. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, back in the day when Kelly and I first got married. Um, Grandpa Jim, he used to live in the mountains, and so we just went on his property, found a tree, and chopped it down, and that was the last time I did that. But now that the kids are a little bit older and we're in this really small place, don't want to use a an artificial tree because none that we have ever had really fit that. So what better time to... Although it's been said many times, many ways... <clears throat> The kids are enjoying themselves, the women are talking, and we're looking for real trees, but we know that ultimately the choice is not up to us, but we're the only ones really interested in cutting down a tree, but they were the ones that brought us down here and said that they want, you know, no complaints, but I mean, help a brother. Oh! So I guess it's just up to me while they're talking. I'll just go through the deep forest and find a nice tree. I mean, really, we don't have a lot of space for much, but... Merry Christmas to you. You know, you're walking, you're looking, you're just taking a real good survey of the land, and then all of a sudden... This... Like this. Quinn, Dad's gonna cut this one. Am I gonna help? Yeah. I gotta start. Let me get a picture. Get your knee on it. Dad, I'm hoping. Dad, I'm hoping. So, you gotta put it in the grooves. I think we need to trim it. Why don't you do this? I think we should trim it first. No, we're not trimming. No, don't. This is harder than we think no, to get down no, on the get, ground. No, we should get this It's tiny harder one. than we think with some opinionated no, little boys that don't know how to cut one. a tree down. Come over here, and you pull it, and then I'll pull it, and you push it. Okay, good. Pull. It's gonna fall down. We can get our family picture next to our tree. It fell. Do I get a reward? It might be some good time with your dad. How about that? We were we were gonna get that anyway. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you conquer nature. 
that's not roasting. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. So I'm offering a sample phrase. Although it's been said many times, many ways. Well, she is very, very much of a blessing in his hour of need. <laughs> <laughs> Got some extra kids. Merry Christmas to you. It's a little tall. It's a little tough. One of the things I'm finding out is that we got some small ants and bugs in here. I don't even know what kind of bug that was. So put it in the comments down below if you're an artificial tree family or if you're a go out and grab it yourself or if you're just picking up at the lot or maybe you don't even celebrate Christmas uh, let, let me know they're like small bugs I don't know. do you think we should not do this? I think we just spent money for a tree so either way we either got bugs or we don't but we got a tree it looks so low out there in can the you lot. feel the infestation happening as I cut? Well, you're probably supposed to shake it out outside. Are you supposed to shake it out outside? <laughs> you tell me. That sounds like a good idea. Doesn't that sound familiar? I don't know. This is only the second time in my life. They know. It's only the second time ever. This right here is the equivalent to walking around with your pants around your ankles. <laughs> that's, that's what's happening right now. Uh, yes, it is. Look how awkward that's... Pants? Well, I feel like that's inappropriate what you're saying. That's not what I meant. Okay, door. Door, are you gonna keep it with this? And I looked it up and the website says Shake it off before you wrap it up. Shake it off while you're at the thing. Because there might be spider nests in the tree. It said that there are places that have machines that shake them to shake them vigorously. I shook it as vigorous as I could, but I didn't shake it like no machine be shaking it. They didn't tell us to shake it out when we were there. But those people don't care, that's why. They're like, give me the $40. Peace! Would you like me to hold it? I would like for something. Well, the good news is, if it's that big, they're easy to spot. Yeah, but the bad news is I got a nest of something in my hair now. You want to do that? I, I don't know. Uh, you, you trim it up. I'm, I'm going to go take a shower. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing, and we will see you tomorrow. Merry Christmas!